Hello, hello and welcome back. I have been away for about two months traveling and setting up restaurants, but now I'm back. I am back to doing some live streaming. So today we are going to be doing is a chicken and scallop with a some broccoli and a cream sauce with some mushrooms inside. So it's going to be really quick and simple. And what my aim for all these videos, um, which will be for the next couple of weeks at least, is going to be quick, short, little videos that will be hopefully be, I will be able to turn it all into little YouTube videos. So if you do miss out, you can be watching it on YouTube. So if you are watching it on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe and put a comment down below. It will help me a lot. Parchment paper will do. We got some parchment paper from the drawer because we're going to have a fun and beat up our chicken a little bit, make it nice and flat. Things. So chicken breast. Again, you can take a whole chicken and take the breast off, but I didn't need to today, so I've got my little parchment paper. Actually, take the chicken breast. We're going to remove the fillet because we're going to bat that out. So that's a little bit in a minute. That's the chicken fillet. You can buy those individually. We're going to get our chicken breast and we're just going to cut it in half on a, on a slight angle. So two bits. And it doesn't really make much difference if you. Uh, it doesn't look pretty at the moment. This one doesn't have a fillet. Sainsbury's are cheating me here. Cheating me. Okay. Let's get our little fillet. So in. Fold the paper over onto it. And then beat up your chicken. So I've just got my chicken here, it's nice and thin. I'll just pop that there. So I'm just going to grate that quickly and it, it's not actually rice but making a load of mess as well. We're going to put that to the side. So we've just got like this strawberry broccoli which will, it will cook down really quickly and really hopefully be tasty uh, with our chicken and scallop. We're going to be making a mushroom and uh, sour cream sauce. So we're going to start making the sauce. So we've got the chicken there, the broccoli there. This is going to be, so the prep is very important. But well, then it's going to be literally a five minute cook. So we're just going to chop our mushrooms up really, really fine. Again, if you've got a food processor and you don't, you don't want to risk your fingers, put a few on the slicer setting on that. But otherwise, have at it. You don't have to chop them really, really fine. I'm just cutting them this fine because it will be easier for me to cook them quicker. But you can leave them a bit more chunky if you wish. So uh, here's a trick. To open garlic, back of the knife, tap it in the root, oh look, one popped off, wonderful. So we're going to use a bit of chopped garlic for the sauce. What I do is I tap, and I also just take the root off. Because it's very important to have a sharp knife. Um, and the reason being, if you have a blunt knife, it means you're putting more uh, pressure down onto the... Go away, fruit fly. If you're putting more pressure on, you're more likely to slip and cut yourself. The sharper the knife... Uh, is, is actually better because you're less likely to cut yourself because you're not actually having to force the knife through. So the broccoli is going to need a bit of garlic. So broccoli, garlic, boom. Garlic for the sauce. Okay, and we've got half a garlic. We'll keep it. We'll keep that over there. Put some thyme in our sauce. We've got a lemon. It's going to roll our lemon. We've got, a, we've got some white wine. So we're going to be using a Chardonnay. It's from uh, southeastern Australia, guys. I didn't pick this specifically. I just cooked with it last night. So this is what we're going to be using. Chardonnay goes very well with chicken. There you go. It's magical. It's just uh, it's got some nice acidity in a Chardonnay. It's also a bit creamy as well because we're going to be using a, Chardonnays have a, like a always a natural butteriness to them. This is my wine knowledge coming through. So Chardonnay is actually quite good with this because we'd be doing a dish with cream and a little bit of butter. So we're going to have we got we got some. Sour cream here, which we're going to finish the sauce with, and where's me, where's me butter? Donna Stella butter. I don't know where I put it. Ah, here. It's hiding. The butter's hiding. And I have some mushroom stock. I made a mushroom risotto yesterday, guys, so that's where the mushroom stock comes from. Um, it's literally, I just sweated down some mushrooms, so thinly sliced the mushrooms. Sweated them down with an onion, covered them in water, cooked it for 20 minutes. Mushroom stock, done. So simple. Okay. So we're going to put olive oil in this pan. This is going to be for the chicken. Olive oil in the pan. We need to season, we need to season these little bad boys. OK. 
Okay, so, so there you go, stove cam. So you'll be able to see what I'm doing and you can see my back as well. So in goes the chicken in a nice hot pan. So what we're going to do is we're going to sear the chicken quickly, then remove it, add the mushrooms and make the sauce in this pan. Oh. We'll also get the pan behind it hot for our broccoli. So because the chicken is so thin, it's going to cook super, super quickly. And because I've got an electric stove, if you put, them, if you put two things on, one goes colder for some peculiar reason. Okay, so we're going to keep this nice and thin. We will add, we will, we will add the um, chicken back into the sauce to finish the cooking of it. But we just want to get the searing going. We're going to add a little tiny knob of butter. And when I say knob, I'm talking about 10 grams. So that's about that much, a little knob. In that goes in the middle. We always love a bit of butter. Okay, so they're part cooked. So let's just take them out. They're just seared. We don't want to overcook the chicken because overcooked chicken breast is disgusting. Okay. In goes our mushrooms and thyme and chopped garlic. I'm just going to mix that around a little bit. We're going to add some more salt to that because the seasoning of that will help the um, moisture come out of the mushrooms. Some olive oil in the back pan as well for our broccoli. And this is how simple this one is. So we're just going to put some salt in our broccoli pan already. Oh, there you go. I've got hiccups. We're going to put, I don't like chili, but I'm still going to put like, when I say a little bit of chili. Okay, like that's how much chili I'm putting in. It's like not even half a gram. And in that goes. That's a really hot pan. And in here I've just put a little bit of water. The water, what we're going to do with the water, is going to help steam the broccoli. Oh, I wish you could smell this, guys. It smells awesome. The t smell of garlic, thyme, mushrooms is just amazing. So then we're going to add our pino bianco. So the mushrooms are just starting to caramelize. So a tiny bit of vino bianco, in it goes. And that's like... 50 ml of white wine. We're going to put some chicken stock in there. On oh, chicken stock, mushroom stock. Get the right stock, sure. Just a little bit. Again, not too much because we don't want a really runny sauce. We want a quite thick sauce. And we're going to cook that up for a second. So cooking our broccoli. And it's in with the water. Just going to try our broccoli to see if it's cooked. This is how, like really quick how the cooker cooks because we've, we've grated it down. And this may be a way of getting kids to eat broccoli because uh, it's all broken up. They might not know what it is. That's cooked. So that's done. Okay, so we've reduced the white wine in the stock down. Now we're going to add some sour cream. So sour cream, is, if you can't find sour cream, it's okay. You can just use normal cream. I would use double cream because it's slightly thicker like this. And you can just add some extra lemon juice. I'm going to put two nice spoons of sour cream. We're going to pop our chicken back in just to finish the cooking. So the, the, then the chicken will be coated in this delicious sauce. And also cooked all the way through. Because it's only so thin, it will literally take a minute longer. to going to drizzle all those juices back in there. So after using the wine to cook with, you could also use the Chardonnay wine to drink with it if you if you are a white wine lover. If you're drinking red wine, I would go for a light red wine because obviously you're eating white meat. So you would almost you would you have to go for like a almost a nouvelle wine, which is the young wines. Um, just because otherwise it's just going to overpower the sauce. But you can drink red wine with it, but obviously it's also summertime so a rosé would get, wouldn't go too badly with this. We have our broccoli. Pop that in the middle of the plate. Just uh, going to flip my chicken over. Coming with the chicken. So we're going to put it on a really high heat for literally 
10 seconds. And we're also going to add a fresh squeeze of lemon juice. So we're going to put some mushrooms on the top. And we're just going to do a little bit of parsley on the top to finish because we want to be pretty. We always like pretty things. So here we have it. We have our chicken and scallop with sour cream and mushroom sauce with some broccoli rice or whatever we're going to call that. I don't know. Made, 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 up, made up broccoli rice. So it's really quick and simple. That whole thing has taken about 20 minutes to do. And I haven't been run it, rushing to do anything. Okay, my knife skills might be a bit quicker. But realistically, it's a super quick and easy dish. And that's for two people. I mean, it doesn't take much longer to do it for four or five people. So it's a really quick and easy dish. And I will be trying to get all these recipes done and sorted so that I can actually have them on my website finally when I get it done finished. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, if you have been watching today. Um, it's been great to have be back on Twitch because it's been so long. And if you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.